Lee's trailer came out. We also get to look at the Tekken 8 live action launch trailer. And these are always fun, right? I, I think I'm kind of personally attached to, which is live action fighting game trailers. So Zafina's the first one. A super exciting character. Not exactly, you know, was a very dominant character. Season three character in Tekken 7. You know, she did pretty well for herself at the end of that friggin' game. Let's just see what's different. Is she gonna have more Azazel powers? Uh, show me. I don't remember much from the gameplay session. Her and Claudio are like teaming up in this game. 4K, hell yeah. Azazel the guy that beat you up. Azazel's the guy that was the big the demon, uh, sphinx, like Egyptian looking thing at the end of Tekken 6. Damn. Voice acting sounds cool. Your fate is already decided. Yeah, she's squirmy, that's for sure. Tekken ain't looking better and better. Every single time we get a trailer, I swear to God. You're nuts with this hand. Sigillo è arrivato al limite. I'm gonna whoop your ass. Creepy and weird. All right. Uh, what? This is some straight up nightmare moves from Soul Calibur now. Uh, what? <laughs> Fairly traditional, all right. Yeah, her costume is probably the best it's ever been. Because she's like all Azazel now, right? God damn. <laughs> So full acknowledgement of Tekken 6, right? As much as people are like, nah, Tekken 6 is not canon. I've seen people actually say that. No, 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 brother. Uh, no, 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 no. Tekken 6 is definitely canon. It's not being ignored. They talk about it at the beginning of the story and Zafina is just continuing the exact same story that has been going for a while now. Literally everything is canon. Actually, everything is canon so far. Tekken 6 is a weird game, don't get me wrong. It's it's a weird ass game with, with some weird ass story things that a lot of people probably wish just didn't happen. But at the same point, you know, it, it has literally prided itself in the fact that it is a continuous story. It's got like the Guinness record for that shit, so. Uh, next, before we check out this live action trailer, Lee. One of the most unfortunate costume designs in the game, I think, unfortunately. Fortunately, unfortunately. Get ready for the next battle. Jeez. Tekken 8. Jeez. New God bless Focus alternate outfits. <laughs> Where's his suit? What's going on? Oh, the thing's fall. Oh, yes, it is falling. <laughs> stage interaction. This part's bad. This is badass. Look at this. Boom! I love this part of the stage thing here. You can actually break the wall again. Similar to the geese stage, I think. <laughs> yeah, these dudes are like teaming up in the story. Oh joy. Big all like rage drive slash heat smash that is a low starter, of course. You getting opened up. Oh, 
What? Oh yeah, we have seen this one. The uh, the combat bomb. What? Wait, what? He renamed the combat Hachi? Like, hey, Hachi? There's no excellent. There's also no excellent. That's cute. That's funny. <laughs> Absolutely disrespectful. I mean, come on. Hachi also means eight. Oh, good point. Yeah. Hachi Roku. Yeah, good point. Obviously is Hey Hachi though, <laughs> right? I mean, obviously it is also making fun of Hey Hachi. It's multi-layered chat. It rhymes, you know? Ali and, you know, Zafina, like characters that I feel like we've just known about forever that are going to be in this game. And we're finally getting trailers on them. The The last and final one I think is Devil Jin. And we've seen a bit of Devil Jin's gameplay now. So it's, dude, we are on the cusp. We've been looking at this game and its variety of associated media from Bandai Namco since mid 2022. And you know what's crazy to me is that it doesn't actually feel like it's been that long, right? The, since the first time we got the weird teaser where we didn't know if this was a Tekken 1 remake or something like that. Holy shit, man. Does it feel like that time went relatively quick? We were kind of full of like a ton of things we were playing and a ton of stuff to do. It's because we're just all old now. Fair enough. You know what? You know who doesn't feel that way? People that exclusively played Tekken 7. <laughs> people, people that were like content creators or like, you know, specifically stuck playing Tekken 7 while seeing a new Tekken on the horizon, stuck playing that same game for like the past like 10 years almost or some shit. They definitely have been feeling it. They're, they're like, God damn it, man. We are, they're like the same as NRS players when Mortal Kombat 11 was just going forever. Like we are done, bro. <laughs> Give us the new thing. I'm going to judge this harshly. We went over the recent um, Mortal Kombat live action trailers, uh, which was fun. There's some really great ones in there. And, uh, you know, clearly... There is some big budget efforts from Bandai Namco. You know, we get the crazy Carl Urban um, trailer for Armored Core 6. We get the, what was it, Brian Cox is his name? We get the dude that shows up for the Tekken 8 story thing. Some relatively high budget, relative Hollywood associated, you know, uh, marketing pieces here. So also, yeah, Vincent Castle, or is that how you pronounce his last name? He's like a, a big overseas actor and right. He's literally one of the lead characters in the game. That's a new character. So there's a lot, bro. Like there's a, there's a significant sizable amount of money going into this game. Um, none of which went into Soul Calibur six. <laughs> uh, let's watch this. Oh no, is this where this is going? Oh no. <laughs> is this really where this is going? Are they really doing this? Oh, oh no. It's just the goddamn Mortal Kombat trailer, dude. But it's like weird. <laughs> The face-off frenzy. This guy? The, what is he, the mountain? What's his name? <laughs> Actual Tekken players? Oh, God. This is a lot of extras. Dude, why? I am pissed. I'm pissed. I'm gonna tell you why I'm pissed. I'm, I'm pissed, bro. I'm pissed. I can't believe it. I give it, give it a sec. I'm letting the trailer rock. Let's look at some cool gameplay shit. I'm pissed. Sizzle reel, okay. All right. 
Uh, uh, by the way, I, I was not a big fan of the music. Not a big fan of the music. Here's why I'm pissed. I don't know how the hell you have this shot followed by this shot followed by like this shot and you don't have the entire crowd go Doria! like how the hell did you drop that opportunity how did you drop an opportunity to have like 60 extras scream Doria like how the fuck did we miss that uh, I am legit I'm pissed I'm pissed. I don't get it, dude. It feels like a massive missed opportunity. Because what do they show right after that? Freaking Kazuya! It literally like sets it up. I'm pissed, bro. Give me a break. I'm upset. I'm upset. They probably did it and it was cut for time. Yeah, these trailers usually have like, you know, there's like 15 minute long versions. I think my, my biggest gripe with this trailer This music. What the hell is this music, dude? For Tekken? Dude, uh, what are we? Are, are you introducing the PSP three? Everyone running to go get their PSP three? That's what. That's what this sounds like. It. It feels like we're in some generic Xbox music. What is it? Jump in. It is standoff. Xbox three sixty ad. <laughs> I like this one. This one's a classic. <laughs> and then the music's perfect. Of all these big, like, live action... <laughs> the guy falls. <laughs> of all these, like, big live action commercials, this is always my favorite one. This is, this is my opinion, if we're going to be critical of like all of the, the classic ads, this is what the USA is like. This is my favorite one. This one's like I got the, the funniest moments and all the best shit. It's a good one. Um, and then you have like the worst one. Hold on a second, since we're just on this. Blindness! Ice winds of the north! Introducing Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. 12 new characters, 8 new stages, only $39.99. Unleash your ultimate. Pre-order now at GameStop for the Femme Fatale costume pack. Product not yet rated. Anyway, I mean, it's cool that like this is like the most budget effort in marketing Bandai Namco has like possibly ever put into a Tekken game. Like for real. And if we're going to be actually honest about this, craziest thing you start realizing as we've gone through the, the Tekken Legacy, right? And played like vanilla Tekken 7. I'm playing through like story mode stuff in Tekken 6 and shit. And I'm hearing like, this is how much of like a budget game Tekken 7 was. I'm hearing characters like deliver voice lines in the story mode of Tekken 7. And I kid you not, they are like the same storylines like the characters deliver in like intros and stuff like that in Tekken 7. Did I say 7? I meant 6. Yeah, in 6 there's a story mode. And I swear to God, they, they reuse stuff like all over the place. It was like, that line sounds exactly the same as Tekken 7. Yeah, this is, this is the most uh, Bandai Namco has spent on marketing for a fighting game ever. I think actually ever.